Hi again. Now I just connected the system I showed in the first video to a power supply which is giving me 12 volts around 12 volts it's kind of much stronger you will see the difference this is that's normal sparking I put this piece, piece of paper in between the tips of the spark and you will now feel the difference or at least hear the difference I just put the light out and move the paper and you can see those metal parts flying away I haven't changed the voltage just I'm moving the paper across the tips I take the paper out there is no paper there anymore and you see how it goes down it seems that the humidity in the paper has a strong effect on the explosions put the light back again put the paper in between and you can see the difference just move the paper in between put the light out move the paper just moving the paper take the paper away and you see how the intensity of the spark goes down no metals no metal parts are flying away so there you are again the normal spark put the paper in between and you even hear the difference in the noise Take the paper away and things change. So this is based on the circuit, OSI's circuit with a 12 volt security strobo light which is in there. Just hide it so we don't get disturbed by the xenon flash. So this time I'm taking the voltage of the power supply. 12 volts and around 150 180 milliampers. Put the paper back again. Oh, and you see how it goes out. Just move the paper around. I have to move the paper because it drills a hole in it. And when there is no hole, then you get this explosive noise. Take the paper away, it goes back. Thanks for looking. Bye-bye.